Hello friends, this video on direct and inverse proportion part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we will try out some questions. Before that, let me tell you that whenever two quantities x and y are in direct proportion, just to write it in short, we use the symbol of direct proportional. We express it like this. Wherever we write this, it means that x is directly proportional to y. So this is the symbol of directly proportional to. Question number one. A machine in a soft drink factory fills 840 bottles in six hours. How many bottles will it fill in five hours? Okay, so let us see what are those two quantities here which are dependent on each other. So one quantity is the number of bottles, right? So here we see that number of bottles is one quantity. The other quantity is the time taken to fill the bottles. So the second quantity is time taken. So if you look at the question, if you want to fill more bottles, you would need more time, right? So we can say that the number of bottles is directly proportional to time taken. Now let us assume that number of bottles is represented by the quantity x and time taken is represented by quantity y. So as per the concept of direct proportion, we can say that the ratio of x to y will remain constant at all times. That is x1 by y1 will be equal to x2 by y2. Now in this question x1 that is the number of bottles at one instant is given as 840. So x1 is given as 840 and to fill 840 bottles how much time is taken that is the corresponding value of y, y1 is 6 hours. Similarly what is the value of x2? So, well, x2 we do not know. We need to find out the number of bottles. So, this is not known. And what is y2? y2 is 5 hours. So, this is 5 hours. So, now putting these values in this equation, what do we get? x1 is 840 divided by y1 which is 6 is equal to x2 which is not known divided by y2 which is 5. So, x2 is equal to 840 divided by 6 into 5. So here 6, 1 is 6, 6, 4 is 24, 0. So 140 into 5 is 700. So therefore 700 100 bottles will be filled in 5 hours. Question number 2. In a model of a ship, in a model of a ship, the mast is 9 centimeters high, while the mast of the actual ship is 12 meters high. If the length of the ship is 28 meters, how long is the model ship? Okay, so in this case, again, we have two quantities involved. One quantity is the dimension of the ship in the model. So dimensions in the model of the ship and the other quantity is the actual dimension. Now, it is very obvious that the dimensions in the model will be proportional to the actual dimension. So if the length is very it's like very very long actu in actual dimensions then obviously accordingly the dimension in the model would also increase so dimensions in model is directly proportional to actual dimension again let's assume that this is represented by a quantity x this is represented by y so in the problem x1 that is in the model the mast is 9 centimeters high so x1 is 9 centimeter and what is the corresponding measurement that is what is the height of the mast in in the actual ship so in the actual ship the height is 12 meters so y1 will be equal to 12 meters similarly what would be x2 that is how long is the model ship so again that we do not know but what would be y2 the actual length of the ship is 28 meters so this is 28 meters now we also need to ensure that all of these are in the same units, you know, that helps us in calculation. Okay, so as per our, uh, so with this we can say 9 centimeters is 9 by 100 meters. Now as per the relationship, it is x1 by y1 is equal to x2 by y2. Therefore, we can write x2 is equal to x1 by y1 into y2. So, let's put the values. This x1 is 9 by 100 divided by y1 which is 12 into 28. 
So this is equal to 9 by 100 into 1 by 12 into 28. So this is 3, 3 is a 9, 3, 4 is a 12, 4, 7 is a 28. So this is 21 by 100 meters. So this is nothing but 21 centimeters. So therefore, the length of the model ship would be 21 centimeters. Question number three. Rashmi has a road map with a scale of one centimeter representing 18 kilometers. She drives on a road for 72 kilometers. What would be her distance covered in the map? So in this case, again, the actual distance and the measurement in the map. So basically, you, we have two quantities. One quantity is the measurement in map. The other quantity is the actual measurement. And obviously, these are directly proportional to each other. So let's assume this quantity represented by x, this is represented by y. So what is x1? What is the first measurement in map? So the first measurement is 1 centimeter. So x1 is 1 centimeter and corresponding actual measurement is 18 kilometers. So y1 is 18 kilometers. Again, what would be the distance covered by her on the map that is not known. So x2 is not known and y2 is 72 kilometers. So here again, this is in centimeters. Now, if you want, you can convert it into kilometers. If you don't convert it into kilometers, anyways, you will get direct answer in centimeter. That's because here the relationship is x1 by y1 is equal to x2 by y2. Or we can say x2 is equal to x1 by y1 into y2. So basically it is ratio of y2 by y1. So since y2 and y1 both are in the same units, so kilometers would get cancel out. It cancel out in the sense 18 kilometer by 18, 72 kilometers would just give you a number. And here x1 is in centimeters, so you will get x2 also in centimeters. So in this case, x1 is 1 centimeters. So 1 centimeter, if you want, you can convert it into kilometers. So 1 centimeter is 1 by 10 to the power 5 kilometers. So this is 1 by 10 to the power 5 into 1 by 18 into 72. So 18 into 4 is 72. So 4 by 10 to the power 5 kilometer, which is equal to 4 centimeters. So this would be the distance covered on the map. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.